the difference between simple interest on a certain sum at the rate of 10% per annum for 2 years and compound interest which is compounded every 6 months as rupees 124.05. Whenever you have questions based on difference in CI and SA, always calculate CI. Here compounded every 6 months means every 6 months interest is added to the principal. Now 10 percentage is for 1 year. Then for 6 months rate is 5 percentage. 5 percentage means 5 by 100 which is equal to 1 by 20. That is 20 part is the principal and 1 part is the interest. If 20 part is the principal, 20 raised to 4 is your total sum. That is here. There are total 2 years and there are total 4 6 months and 2 years. So 20 raised to 4 is your sum because for 1 year 20 part is the principal then 4 years 20 raised to 4 is the principal. Now actually you don't need to write all these things just understand 5 percentage is the rate for 6 months then 5 percentage means 1 by 20 then 20 raised to 4 is your principal. Here 2 raised to 4 is 16 and there are total 4 zeros. That means 1,60,000 is your principal. Calculate compound interest for 1,60,000. Here there are total 4 terms. That is for 6 months. Now for the first year interest is 5 percentage of 1,60,000. Here 10 percentage is 16,000. Then 5 percentage is 8,000. So for the first year, 8,000 is added. Now, for the second year, 5 percentage of 1,60,000, 8,000 is added. Again, compound interest means interest on interest. So, here interest on the first year is 8,000. So, 5 percentage of 8,000 is, here 10 percentage is 800, 5 percentage is 400 is added for the second term. Now, for the third term, 5 percentage of 1,60,000. 1000 added that is 8000 and 5 percentage of 8000 5 percentage of 8000 that is 400 plus 400 800 is added for the third term again 5 percentage of 400 here 10 percentage is 40 5 percentage is 20 is added for the third term now for the fourth term 5 percentage of 160000 that is 8000 is added Again, 5 percentage of 8000 plus 5 percentage of 8000 plus 5 percentage of 8000. That is 400 plus 400 plus 400. 1200 is added for the fourth term. Then 5 percentage of 400 is 20 is added for the fourth term. 5 percentage of 800. 10 percentage is 80. 5 percentage is 40 is added for the fourth term. Again, 5 percentage of 20. That is 1 by 20 of 20. That is 1 rupee is added for the fourth term. Now you can see here 8000 plus 8000 plus 8000 plus 8000 which is equal to the simple interest for 2 years. That is 20 percentage of 160,000 is equal to 8000 into 4. That is 32,000. So here the remaining is the difference between CI and SI. Which is equal to 1200 plus 800 is 2000, 2400 plus 20 plus 20 plus 40 plus 1. That is 2481 part is equal to difference between CI and SI which is equal to 124.05. Now you can see here 124 goes 2 times in 248 and 0.05 goes 2 times in 1. So here 124.05 goes 20 time in 2481. So here 20 part is equal to 1 means we need to find here 1,60,000 is the principal. So we need to find what is 1,60,000 part which is equal to here 20 part into 8,000 is equal to 1,60,000. So same way, 1 into 8000 is 160000. So, your answer is 8000. So, option C is your answer.